my heart is kind of pumping really fast here. Welcome back to your Daily Dose, everybody. We have a first of a kind event here for Halloween Horror Nights. Halloween Horror Nights has a premiere night tonight, and that is exactly what we are doing. It was $350 per ticket, a limited event. So that means the lines are gonna be hopefully very short because I think that's one of the Halloween Horror Nights biggest issues with how crowded it is. And this is the first of its kind event this year. They've never done anything like this before. I'm braving it by myself. And I did hear when you go through all 10 haunted houses, they're gonna be staggering the parties that go in. So I could potentially be going in all 10 haunted houses by myself. So if you guys have not, please go ahead and a thumbs up the video and hit that subscribe button because I am honestly terrified. This is gonna be a lot of fun. I'm scared, but let's go see this brand new event. It's opening night technically, but opening night is today when you guys see this video because this is the only night they're having the premium Halloween Horror Nights. Tonight, Thursday. Let's go is right. What's up? You guys nervous? The whole idea again of this event is limited capacity, a one night event. So each person, it was $350, so very expensive. Fun fact, you could buy a ticket to come to all of the Halloween Horror Nights for that price, basically. And you could also book a VIP or an RIP tour for one night, total of 12 people, basically for the price of this admission. So my hope is this is a very limited capacity event where we get to kind of just go on in, do everything we want with no lines, no rush, and we get to go at our own speed. Speaking of this too, alcohol and food, I believe are included. Food is, food's included. Let me double check that real quick. Food is included, alcohol is not, but there's also some non-alcoholic options that are included. We're gonna go in all of the haunted houses, all 10 of them, check out all of the scare zones. I think the one I'm most excited for is A Quiet Place and Ghost Busters. Try out some food because it's included with our $350 ticket. There's already people lining on up. It's 45 minutes until this event. Runs until 2 a.m., 6.30 till 2 a.m., just like the normal operations of Halloween Horror Nights, just one night earlier and one night only. So let's go have some fun. I'm excited, I'm scared, I'm terrified, but you only live once, right? Gotta be here for the opening ceremony and then we can rush on in. And in we go, they opened it up 30 minutes earlier. Here we go. Kind of event, looks like we're actually gonna get some lanyards here. Get me in, let's get this going. Welcome to Horror Nights 2024, everybody. Here we go. Here's how they know that we are part of this special event. Let's go do this. 
By the way, this event actually hasn't sold out yet. I wonder if they're gonna do this next year too. I would like to see it. We'll see how it functions tonight. Monstrous, we're gonna pass that one. I wanna go to a quiet place. We're starting out with A Quiet Place. This is actually based on the first and second movies. Kind of have a feeling this is going to be scary as heck. And check this out. I don't think you're ever going to see this at HHN again. Nobody in line, baby. Nobody in line. This is why we're here. This is why I wanted to do it. Because HHN has been out of control the past couple of years. I mean, it's a very popular event. Very popular. Actually, I think most tickets are sold out with the Express Pass. So if you wanna buy a ticket right now, you kinda have to go on the standby lines because the Express, I think, are sold out for most tickets. I just checked right now, but here we go. Well, it's not moving though. I wonder if the houses aren't open because we did come in at six. Technically opens at 6.30. We'll see, we'll see what happens here. But comment down below, would you guys do this for $350? Keep that in mind as we go through the night. As soon as I saw this event, I'm like, sign me up. Now with the amount of people that are in here right now, the line isn't actually moving continuously. And I think that's because they are staggering. So they're gonna let one group in, they're gonna pause, and they're gonna let another on. So it's not continuously like we see at HHN throughout every single night house. There's a continuous conga line. Looks like it's gonna be a little bit different. We'll see once we get inside. These people are coming through the exit, so you always gotta judge how people look coming through the exit. See how scared they look, how happy they look. So far, no one's showing like any emotion. By the way, most of the rides are, are open as well, but we're here for the haunts. We gotta, we gotta do all 10 and see all scare zones. We gotta wait for it to get dark out for the five scare zones. Yeah, if you look at the exit, everyone's not coming out like continuously. So they are gonna be staggering groups, which is nice. So that's a good thing. So that means I'm not gonna be going in alone. I'm gonna be going at least with a couple people. So that calms my nerves a little bit. All right, we're about to head on in here. First house, a quiet place. Shh. Okay, my reaction, solid start. My hands are so sweaty. That one was really, really dark. I couldn't really see much. Obviously, I'm still kind of adjusting my eyes for from you know the sunlight into the darkness. It wasn't quiet. It was good. It was okay. I'd say that was a mid one. I want to see how long this line got because I really feel like it was a mistake for me to enter this line at the front because I feel like everyone gravitated to this one. The line actually is a lot shorter. Love to see that. Now with all the food like included, well it's, it's like a select food from all the booths that are included. So I'm definitely going to get food but my main goal is the haunted houses. Obviously I didn't record inside the houses. It's kind of kind of annoying how at Halloween Horror Nights in Hollywood you can actually record inside their haunted houses but for some reason here at Universal you can't unless you're on the media night which is actually tonight when you guys see this video. I uh, will not be attending which stinks but it is what it is. Premium night has actually long lines for food. I'm gonna I'm gonna skip. We're gonna keep going through these houses. We're gonna keep going. Now normally the, the signs will tell you how long the wait time is but it doesn't look like they're doing that tonight. It just says special event. I waited about like 15, 20 minutes for that house, so definitely a lot lower than what you're gonna have at HHN. So, so far we're off to a good start with the wait times. We're gonna do Ghostbusters. And we're gonna do Insidious, and then what's ever over there. Ooh, scare zone. I wanna check out the scare zones at night for when it's extra spooky. Cause during the day, it's just kinda like during the day. From a uh, perspective of just coming to this event so far, I really feel like I hope they do this next year too, cause we're off to a grand, grand start. It was just obviously came with a huge, huge price tag. Everyone's walking on buying saying Insidious is the scariest one. Insidious is scary, I heard. We're starting out with the calm, well, second calm one, Ghostbusters. Everyone is literally terrified of Insidious. We'll have to see what that is next. Still wishing I could record these houses. Maybe we're gonna have to go out to HHN Hollywood next year so we can actually do that. Isn't it kind of weird though that at HHN in Hollywood you can record, but here you can't. Or am I the only one? Or is this just me and a content creator wishing I could? This is why we we came here. Look at this. I feel like this is gonna continue all night. I feel like every ride, or sorry, every ride, I guess, in houses, this is a stray walk on. This is actually wild. I've never seen HHN like this before. Holy cow. These are sound stages for those who are new to Universal. So they actually shoot some shows here, but year round they're reserved for haunted houses. How's it going? It's a walk on for both houses. There's Insidious and here's Ghostbusters. <laughs> Holy cow. 
I hope they continue this next year because this is wild, but it might not be profitable enough for them. I know one of you is going to comment, I would not pay $350 to get scared. Well, then HHN isn't just for you or Halloween isn't probably for you at all. It's for me. I'll pay for it. I'm probably going to go like two more times anyway, so. Ghostbusters empties out where we just emptied out for the Quiet Place. Quiet Place was so much better. Honestly, Ghostbusters was kind of a letdown. It was kind of pleasing, like visually. But other than that, it was just kind of, it's kind of like Stranger Things. I mean, it's like a fun type scare. Wouldn't do that one again. That one's just kind of like, ah. It's a, it's a lighter scare. Ghostbusters gets a four out of a 10. Just a four. Now here's where I'm probably going to crap my plants. Plants? <laughs> my pants. We're gonna do Insidious. Insidious the further. The last house, if I didn't pair with the people in front of me, I would have been going in by myself, but Ghostbusters, I could have completely handled that. But I kind of asked them, hey guys, can I go with you? <laughs> I'm scared. And they let me. Universal Orlando welcomes Halloween Horror Nights 33. We're out on the street, I just ran into some of you guys that Insidious, the one we're doing right now, is scary as heck, so I might cry. Fun fact, if you look right there, that's actually the Hogwarts Express. Right there. Goes from Universal to Islands of Adventure, which is right over there. Normally, this is flooded with people. Not tonight. It's crazy to see it like this. Oh, we just caught a scare actor change. I am so happy that I ran into some of you guys because now I'm not going in alone. Right. Let's do this together. Thank because you. Because we're also very scared. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> let's let's go do Insidious, which I heard is the scariest one here. I'm scared. Yeah. It was the scariest movie I've seen in a long time. It is yeah. scary. Yeah, definitely. Alright, let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> we're walking in. Can't film. Y'all, I was like this the whole time. I was sweating. Still am sweating. I'm not sweating because it's high. I was sweating because I'm scared. That was the scariest one by far. I'm, I'm like still visually like shook. What'd you guys think? Terrifying. So Terrifying. scary. Definitely the premium scare nights are worth it because you are grouped and so not you're not in a straight line. Everyone like gets yeah. at you. The scares Standard. are there. The scares are there. It's great. On to the next. <laughs> Quick little scan on how everything is. Oh, they finally posted the wait times. 10 minutes, 10 minutes. I'm gonna revert course and actually go to the front house over here. Ghostbusters went up to a 25. That's the one we walked on. Honestly, Insidious, that gets a 10 out of 10. That's the best house by far so far. By far, if you like scary. I truly feel like the food lines are actually the longest lines here by far. <laughs> no one's here. You can definitely see the premium in this event for sure. It's like a whole RIP tour park, quite honestly. Monster Us. The monsters of Latin America. We're gonna do this one 20 minutes. We'll see how long it takes. Little Boo's cute. Might have to purchase him. There's no way this is 20 minutes because no one has walked behind me and honestly there is nobody in front of me either and no one's going to ride rides unbelievable check it out i'm really hoping there is a line so they can send me in with some people i think i do see some people thankfully wow could you uh, imagine waiting in these I'm sure it's gonna be tonight on friday Exos. But most people do get drinks and sit in line. I used to do that. Please, can someone come behind me? <laughs> this is not cool. Well, it's official. No one has come behind me. It's like the haunted house is closed. Those are workers, by the way. What is this event? This is unreal. Here we go, fourth house. Six more to go after this. It's only been an hour, believe it or not. We are making great time. Review of the monster one. That one was good. I think that one had a lot of good sets. Mildly scary, still really cool. Insidious still wins the keg. That one is tied with 
quiet place. It was still really good. Set design, unbelievable. We still have to do one down there. I'm gonna save that for a little bit later. I'm gonna venture on into the park because hopefully there's not too many people inside the park. Cause still, look at these lines for food. When it's free, people are gonna flock. Makes sense, right? These food lines are unbelievable. Wowzers. Literally the best thing about this event, free food, nobody here. And that makes my money well spent for sure. I just really wish we could film inside the haunted houses. If anybody knows why you can film at Hollywood and not here, comment down below. It'd be great. Six more houses to go. What's over here, like a rock band? Check this out. What is this? Is this just like a photo op thing? I think it is. I think you can just take photos with them. So we have one here. Hi. And then we got another one here. I think it's just like meant to be like a cool bar. Check it out. And then a bar. What do they have? Ghoul juice, margaritas, tequila, cocktails. It's kind of cool actually to have like a theme bar like this. They'll probably be here all night too. And then we got this creepy looking thing over here. It's a really cool idea. I don't remember this in the previous years. I actually just talked to uh, somebody and they said, if anybody has doors open, like the restaurants, they're just giving away food. And that's not gonna be like every night. We had to come to Mel's Die-In. We'll come here at night. It looks a little bit better. Forgot we gotta go through a scare zone. Let's do one scare zone during the day. You're gonna be like the only ones walking through. Here's my thought. Personally, there should be more than one of these events per year. Imagine one at the start and then one in the middle. And maybe a little bit low of a price because they didn't sell out. First scare zone. Ooh, it kind of smells. <laughs> Hi, Kyle. Hi. No. Definitely a lot scary at night. It's making me brave this. Oh, that's a cool one. got over here oh my gosh that got me actually and I'm like easy prey right now nice set design hi okay hi and out we go we made it. This had a really good set. I like how they kind of went all out with this. Look at this. That's a really nice one. Oh. That, without a doubt, is probably my favorite scare zone that I've ever actually done with. I like how they actually added way more because it actually feels like the theme place. I feel like other, other um, Halloween Horror Nights, they've kind of missed just because it was kind of spread out too much. They did a really good job there. Now there are no haunted houses this way at all this year. There used to be in the past, but they do have their pizza over there if you, if you want the classic pizza fries. But all the houses are gonna be this way to the left. More lines for food, but not as bad as we saw in the front. One thing I'm surprised about is how many people actually went to go eat right away. My, my, my butt wants to go to the haunted houses. We're pulling up to one right now, the Museum of 
dead exhibits. You're actually going to be entering here through the Simpsons attraction, and it's got a lovely wait of five minutes. This is a new entrance this year. They have never had one in this location. Let's go check it out. I'm probably going to go in by myself. I've only been on this ride twice because honestly, this is probably one of the worst rides in the world. Now this is a little bit of TMI, but I've had to go to the bathrooms ever since I got here. And that's kind of like a, a test of how scary some of these haunted houses are. I haven't peed myself. So that, that's, that's good, right? That's good. Let's hope that doesn't happen at all. TMI, I told you. Ooh, we're gonna be able to film obviously like the outside of these haunted houses, which are themed. It's gonna look a lot different for y'all who go on Halloween Horror Nights, for sure. It's very nice. Look at this. Walking on up. Let's film the outside of this before we head on in, but I don't want to be walking in by myself, that's for sure. Story is for centuries. It is believed to be the cause of failed crops and plagues. Its reputation grew when it would fall in the Over a course of 200 years, and continue to be blamed for multiple outbreaks of disease and famine. In the fall of 2024, the Rolling Stone. All right, let's go check out the newest exhibits. You know how expensive that fog machine is right there? That, okay, I, I know because I've been looking them up. It's like $2,000. It's crazy. Okay, honestly, this one was just kind of mid. It, uh, it was like a four. It kind of was like Pirates of the Caribbean in a way. Like, there's a point where it was like kind of piracy, but eh, I think this is like my least favorite actually. Ghostbusters beats this. Let's see here, what do we have next? Slaughter Cinema 2. Was this last year, if I'm not mistaken? Didn't they have a Slaughter Cinema last year? Five minute wait. Might as well go on this one because it just exited where we need to go, so naturally. Let's go. So used to going this way from previous years, but we're gonna go right up to the haunted house and I gotta catch up to them so I don't go by myself. <laughs> Here's the entrance of this one. I really do love when they have entrances. Looks like they're kind of like a drive-in, but there's there's nothing projected. Maybe, oh, there is. It's just too light to see. So we're gonna have to come back just to kind of see this one at night. Check out the line. Check out the line. There is no line. Now that, is a haunted house. Slaughter Cinema 2, that is up there with with um, Insidious. This one was great. Themed, I was actually, before going into this, I was thinking like nothing's really been like crazy, crazy good. So far it's just been like okay overall, but this one just pushed up how good this event is. This one, so far one of my favorites, if not my favorite, Slaughter Cinema. Great theming, that, that was an awesome haunted house. Coming out of the haunted houses, it's just really hard to remember that you're at HHN because for those who come, when do you see it like this? What do we have like four more to go? And then we've gone on all of them. <laughs> Nobody's going on the rides. I mean, why would you? All right, let's see what we have up here. I wonder when the show starts too because I do want to see the show. We got three shows, 9.30, 11, and 12.30. Goblin Feast. Monsters, Eternal Bloodlines. Five minutes, next one. Wait, so is it two? Is this two in one? I think it is. Fun fact about this one is these are actually brand new tents that they put up this year. So it's gonna be right over here. I think we just go from one to the next. So there's like a double, double hit here. Looks like you enter and leave in the same spot. Kinda got a feeling this is gonna be a long walk. Let's see where these tents are. Ooh. Check this out here. So you gotta walk all the way back and then there are two haunted houses. These are brand new for the year. Let's do Goblin Feast first. Let's do that. I mean, they're both five minutes, so horse apiece at this point. Brand new spots for this year. I'll go to Goblins. <laughs> yeah, all right, I got you. Cool. This event's insane. Do you guys imagine waiting in these? I mean, most people will. I mean, if you will, just get a drink. That's all you really need. That's all you need. 
the team members back there are saying, Goblins is better. And the other ones are saying, go to Eternal Bloodlines. This one looks promising. Let's see what it's about. This is kind of what they look like inside. Like the ins the sets are unbelievable. It's like a movie. Really walking into a movie. Dude, I feel like we're just getting better and better here. Goblins was insanely like the sets, unbelievable. Not gonna be too scary. Just like the set design is crazy. That was a good one. That was a good one. Then here's a look actually at the outside of the building. These are permanent now. They just built them for this year again. Personally, I think you guys should start in the back of the park. Start all the way back here. You get two and one right here. Eternal Bloodlines next. I already did goblins. I did it first. Oh, <laughs> I think the longest I waited tonight was a quiet place, which is like 15, 20 minutes. I'm waiting like five, 10 minutes for every other haunted house. Well, this one on the outside compared to goblins gets a zero. We'll see how it is. Wow, this is tough. That was another good one. I don't know which one was better, this or Goblin. Like when you walk through these two, you feel like you're walking through a movie set. These ones are on the top of my list. <laughs> Unbelievable. I think this one edges Goblin. Oh, this is good to know. They have restrooms back here. I would have known if it was for that nice projection of restrooms. This is definitely worth the walk coming back here. I say start with these two, because these ones are bangers. And also, it's dark out. So let's go see some of the scare zones and also let's go into the wizarding world because the Death Eaters are here, they're back. I'm guessing this is drinks because there isn't a line and you have to pay up. Specialty beverages, ghoul juice, sinister spirits. Cool, cool, cool. I need some water and I need it bad. I'm not drinking tonight. Well, that looks neat. Let's go to wizarding world. I really want to see these Death Eaters. How cool is that to see also the art on the background? Super dope. You know what I think is gonna happen? I think they're gonna keep this next year and word's gonna get out on how worth it it is and it's gonna be a little bit more packed next year. Let's go see the Death Eaters are out. They're back. They are at HHN Hollywood last year. Not here, but they're back. In we go. There's smoke everywhere. Where are they gonna come out from? I think we need to summon the Death Eaters. Green God's a whopping five minute wait. I did just find out that the Death Eaters, they will come every 20 minutes and they'll disappear for another 20. So I'm just gonna sit here and wait for these bad boys to arrive. That's a good sign.
reference that show is at 8.30. They're gonna wander for, for a while. Well, let's carry it on into our second scare zone of the night. It's finally nighttime. Blumhouse, I heard there's like a special performance in this scare zone. Let's see if we'll stick around and be able to find that out. Check this out. Nice little themed photo op. Wolfman. January. Blumhouse scare zone. So much better at night. So much better. Kind of becoming easy prey to all these scare actors. It's a nice one. <laughs> Two haunted houses left. Let me see if this is free food. I'm really hungry. And I need some water. Is this food free? Yes. This food is included and I am gladly going to get something. I'm hungry and I'm thirsty and looks like they have french fries. That's fine. They have burgers too. On second thought, I'm just gonna get some water. Whoa, you guys hear that? Some big bass, it's a train. This is just like normal food that you can get during the day, so I'm gonna pass on it. Looks like we got Sweet Candy Factory up next. I like the, the sound of that, but I think I'm gonna like the smell of it too. 10 minutes if you guys can't read that. Let's go on in. This is why Fast and Furious is closed because of this haunt. There's the tent right there. Get inside before the kids eat all the free samples. <laughs> That's cool. And when you walk in here on this these kind of nights, you're just walking in by yourself. gonna keep on walking here. The blood eagle. That's uh, pretty gory. Wow, ouch. Oh, look at this poor unfortunate soul. All right, I walked through that scare zone successfully. The jester. <laughs> that was good. All right, we have our last haunted house up here, which is absolutely wild. Wild. Oh, snap. The torture affair. I can't, I can't. Look, it's the king. This looks like King Joffrey. Joffrey was older, you know, from Game of Thrones. Cool. All right, last house is over here. Let's see how long the wait is. Probably nothing at all. 10 minutes and we've done it all. It's not even nine o'clock yet. Totally worth your money. Wish it was a little bit cheaper though, like I said. Triplets of terror. Last ones. So far, what do you guys think? From what you guys have seen and what you guys have heard? 
I wish they did this more than one night. I put some thought into this. I am going to skip the show, but what I'm not going to skip is the show in the future. Um, I feel like this is just a great night just to go to all the haunted houses and eat. And it gives me something to see again when I come back. So I'm gonna skip the show. And fun fact, if you guys have been here on the channel, I've only seen this show actually one time I was here. The rest has just been geared towards the houses. It's really hard to do all the houses and see the show in, in one night if you're coming here on vacation. So, houses it is. You know what I just noticed? Over here, look at this theming. This used to be the old tribute store and check it out. Cause that's dead now. It's crazy. Honestly, the triplets one, one of my least favorites. It just wasn't living up to the hype of the other ones. I need to get some food real bad. I wanna to go to this Ghostbusters one. I don't think this food is included, but it's worth a shot. Cause they have a mini s'more here. Death chili, the frozen death chili, that's cool. I don't think this is included though, but I don't really care. I'm hungry, I wanna eat something really, really bad. Wow, this event is incredible. It's actually all included. I'm gonna get this corn dog. And then also two desserts. No one's here. I'm starving, so I want to get a corn dog. This event is goaded. So I got this corn dog. It's got a lot on it. It's got ghost pepper sauce on it, Fritos. Looks pretty good. It's actually ginormous too, and I can't believe it's included in the price. This is literally an amazing event. It's really warm. I just got a huge mouthful of Fritos, and I burnt my tongue actually. Didn't think it was gonna be that hot. It's very, very interesting. Fritos on a corn dog, basically. I'm like the, the breaded part. Sure hits the spot when you're starving. I just got the sauce inside, but geez, it keeps getting better. I gotta get more food. The ever so popular Twisted Tater. We've had that before. I'm trying to get some new food here. Twilight Tavern. What do we have here? Ah, uh, fish and chips? Ooh, count me out of that. <laughs> Let's see what they have at the Insidious booth. It looks so much better at night. So much better. Insidious, face your demons. What do they got? The Red Door Potato Onion Filled Hand Pie. That sounds pretty good. So I got this pineapple juice. It's included. And then they uh, they said to get the eggs in the further. So we're going to try that. This food looks bang. And also the drink, really refreshing. Not as sugary as I thought. Or pineapple, because it did say pineapple. And here is... The food. So far not disappointed, but this thing I'd, at this point, I'd probably eat anything. I've got no idea how to eat this. Oh my gosh, this thing's so hot. This food is so hot. Oh, there's the egg. I don't know how I feel about this. There's an egg in the middle of this thing. Oof. I do not like the look of it, but I probably will look like the taste of it. It's very good. Surprisingly. Can y'all tell if I was hungry and thirsty? It hit the spot. Honestly, no line for the tater tots. I uh, might as well go get one. Let's go get the twisted tater. Ten bucks, but for free for us. I decided to get the garlic parm, but sour cream and chives sounds pretty good. Bing bada bing bada boom. Eating our way around the world now, or around Universal. Now, let's get some dessert here. I'm thinking the mini Stay Puffs more. Look at this, they actually make it fresh. All the food has been, food has been unbelievable. Just wild. Wild, wild, wild. Just a s'more though, nothing really too crazy. Wasn't the best, but good photo op. Our last and final scare zone, but honestly I wanna go into Mel's. Gotta get some last free food here. Scare zone, last one. Some fries and water sound amazing. Most importantly, no line. I've waited like 30 minutes <laughs> to get food here one night at Horror Nights. Couple fries, doesn't hurt anybody, right? Wait a second here, I just found some more food. We gotta try this out. I don't know what I want, I could get it all, honestly. A pork carniceria. <laughs> let's get that, let's get the pork. And then some water, cause I need some H2O. This event is nuts because I keep going to the register, but all you need to do is go to the pickup and get the food. They were all out of pork, so I just elected to get the tostada. 
honestly the worst thing I had tonight by far. Skip this, everything else I got tonight was great. This is not good. Makes sense. I do not like anything pretty much in that. The beat. The music in this one is is great. Bravo. Oh, what a night. Four hours later and we are leaving. There's actually still four more hours left. It's 10 o'clock. They need to do this more than once because the premium night here for HHN was unbelievable. I gotta give you guys the list of Halloween haunted houses that I love the best. Okay, my order of the houses, I'm gonna say the Insidious house was the scariest one by far, but then I'm gonna kinda go just basically off of how much I enjoyed them. Insidious is kinda one through three, but I love Slaughterhouse Cinema 2, Universe of Monsters, Bloodlines, Goblins, those are like my top four right there. All can be number one. Then we go to, to A Quiet Place. A Quiet Place was just way too dark. I couldn't see anything. Major Sweets Candy Factory. That was a good one. That one surprised me. Smelled really good. A lot of these smelled really good. The Monster, Monstrous one. That one was just okay. Ghostbusters was just like a fun one. I thought it could have been better, but it's just Ghostbusters. Triplets of Terror, Terror and then the Museum of Deadly Exhibits to round it off at number 10. But those top four ones all could be number one. Those are my favorites by far. But my gosh, if you guys are gonna come here to HHN, the haunted houses are good. It didn't really start out as powerful as I thought it was going to, but in the end, I had a lot of fun. This night was totally worth it. I can't wait to see if they do this next year. And you know, if you're here next year at this time, please do this event because it's unbelievable. I can still be here for four more hours to go on more of rides. You could see the show eat some more, go back in the haunted houses, but I've been going since like 6 a.m. So I'm going to go back and edit this so you guys can see this today. Hope you guys enjoyed. HHN is back and uh, yeah, cool night, cool night. See you tomorrow. Peace out. I'll be back here probably with my sister. No, 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 no time soon though, but whew, looks as good in person as it does on camera. <laughs>